Hello, everyone. I'm Hirofumi Kawada of Tottori University, Japan. Today, I'd like to talk to you about estimation of beef marbling standard for live cattle using multi input convolutional neural network with ultrasound images. It's important for livestock farmers to produce beef cattle with high value. An early estimation of the value can increase farmers' profit. Therefore, there is substantial interest among livestock farmers in knowing the value of beef cattle at an early stage before shipment. In Japan, the beef marbling standard BMS is a well-known matrix for determining the value of beef by visual inspection. BMS quantifies the degree of marbling in the loin part of beef cattle after slaughter, expressed as a number from 1 to 12. At present, to estimate the BMS value from live beef cattle before shipment, Expert view ultrasound images. The expert assess the BMS value visually using their experience and intuition. This causes the problem in experienced observers may estimate the BMS value with a low accuracy. Therefore, it's desirable to assist the observers as a means of bridging the gap between inexperienced observers and experts. Recently, techniques have been proposed for estimating the value of beef cattle from ultrasound images of live animals using machine learning and deep learning. The existing techniques are based on the general knowledge. In the general knowledge, experts employ when observing the region corresponding to the loin part to estimate the BMS from ultrasound images of live beef cattle. However, we believe experts use other knowledge in addition to the general knowledge. To clarify the knowledge used for the observation of body parts of beef cattle, we conducted a field survey on the BMS estimation performed by experts. This field survey revealed the experts' knowledge. In knowledge one, the experts don't only observe the loin image, they also inspect the backbone image and the shoulder growth image. In knowledge 2, the experts don't observe the body parts contained in the upper region of the backbone image, the loin image, on the shoulder cloud image. Existing techniques have a problem. Existing techniques have not fully explored the use of multiple body parts of beef cattle in ultrasound images for BMS estimation. To this end, we designed CNN architecture for BMS estimation. This incorporates the expert knowledge revealed by our field survey. There are two points. In point one, to inspect the loin image, the backbone image, and the shoulder cloth image, we use a mode input CNN. This CNN can input these images containing various body parts at the same time. In point 2, as a pre-processing step for the CNN input layer, we crop the upper region of these images. These regions are mostly unobserved by experts. To explain the expert's knowledge, 
we explain procedure conducted for BMS estimation revealed by our field survey. This field survey was conducted at the Livestock Research Center of Tottori Prefecture on September 12, 2018. The BMS estimation was performed by the operator and the expert. The operator placed the probe on the body surface of a live animal and acquired ultrasound images. In real time using ultrasound imaging system. The expert viewed ultrasound images on the monitor to observe the cattle body parts contained in the ultrasound images and to estimate the BMS. We explain procedure by s c o p e r a t o r In initialization, The operator determines the initial position of the probe. The operator identifies the region between the six and seven slivers on the body surface of the live animal before acquiring ultrasound images. In step one, the operator acquires the backbone image. The operator moves the probe from the initial position to first position. In step 2, the operator acquiring the r o w i n g image. The operator moves the probe from the first position to the second position. In step 3, the operator acquires the shoulder cross image. The operator moves the probe From the second position to the third position. We explain procedure by the expert. In step one, the expert observes the backbone part contained in the backbone image. In step two, the expert observes the loin part contained in the loin image. In step 3, the expert observes the shoulder cloth part contained in the shoulder cloth image. We explain the expert's knowledge. In knowledge 1, the expert estimates the BMS value by observing all the white grain points appear in the backbone image, the loin image, and the shoulder cloth image. In the backbone images, the expert observes the loin part and its surrounding part. In the loin images, the expert first observes the loin part. Second, the expert observes the area costalis part. In the shoulder cloth images, the expert observes the shoulder cloth part and its surrounding part. In Narit 2, some parts are ignored when estimating the BMS value. In the backbone image, the backbone part is ignored. In the loin image, the trapezius part is ignored. In the shoulder cloth image, the subcutaneous fat part is ignored. We have designed deep network architecture. We first consider the design of a simple network architecture for BMS estimation using the general knowledge. In the general knowledge, experts employ when observing the region corresponding to the loin part to estimate the BMS from the loin images. This figure shows a network architecture using the general knowledge. In contrast, we aim to consider the design of a multi input network architecture for BMS estimation using Knowledge 1. In Knowledge 1, the experts do not only observe the r o w i n g images. 
They also inspect the backbone image and the shoulder growth image. This figure shows the our network architecture using knowledge form. It observes the backbone image, the loin image, and the shoulder growth image using mount input layers at the same time. We explain how to incorporate knowledge. In knowledge, the expert do not observe the body parts contained in the upper region of the backbone image, the loin image, or the shoulder growth image. Therefore, we aim to ignore the body parts by cropping the upper region of eight ultrasound images because these regions are not observed by the experts. We use the data set collected by the Livestock Research Center of Total Prefecture. The period of data collection was from May 2017 to October 2018. We conducted experiments to evaluate the accuracy of two classification problems. The total number of beef cattle was 42. 21 animals are BMS value of 5 or less. And the further, 21 animals are BMS value of 12. For each animal, 19 backbone images, 19 loin images, and 19 shoulder cloth images were acquired. As you can see, the differences corresponding to the different BMS values are not obvious. This is because of the large variation in the appearances of individual images. We evaluated the effectiveness of our network architecture using the expert knowledge by our field survey. We use the cross entropy loss function with 64 batches and 50 epochs. We applied 21 fold cross validation three times. In baseline, the network incorporates only the general knowledge. In comparison one, the network incorporates only knowledge one. In comparison to, the network incorporates only knowledge to. In our architecture, the network incorporates both knowledge one and knowledge two. The accuracy of our method was superior to that of the others. We believe the expert knowledge contributed to the increase in the accuracy of BMS estimation. We consider the classification accuracy depends on the crop size of the upper regions. Therefore, we evaluated how the accuracy varied with changes in 10% increments to the crop size of the regions. The highest accuracy was achieved when the top 30% of each image was cropped. We believe the bottom 70% of each image contains informative body parts for BMS estimation. To determine which images improve the accuracy, we evaluated all combinations of the backbone image, the loin image, and the shoulder cloth image input to the network. The accuracy was highest when all the images were used. But high accuracy was also achieved when only the loin image and the shoulder cloth image were used. This indicates the loin image and the shoulder cloth image are the most informative for BMS estimation. 
To conclude, we conducted a field survey. This revealed the expert knowledge. To automatically estimate the BMS value, we designed most input CNN architecture incorporating the expert knowledge. In future work, we intend to develop a method for most classic BMS estimation and extend our accuracy evaluation to a large data set of images. Thank you for your attention.